guys, I cannot believe that that's another week past. In fact, over a week, I think the last time I uploaded a video was like a week past on Friday and this is Sunday again. The weeks are literally just flying past. It's unbelievable. Um, once again, if you can hear a sort of like weird noise, it is like the wind coming down the chimney because despite the fact that it's July, weather in the UK still seems to be pretty horrific. Well, it still is where I am anyway. Um, Glasgow area is still... Um, pretty bleak, um, it's it's not exactly very warm and it's raining a lot of the time and very very grey and not very summery at all but um, yeah, if you could hear a sort of weird background noise that would be what that is. Um, today I'm going to do a bit of a skincare video um, and talk about my favourite cleanser of the moment and do a bit of a sort of um, compare and contrast with another very popular cleanser. Um, so the cleanser that I'm going to talk about is the Shu Umura Skin Purifier. Um, which is called Cleansing Beauty Oil and it comes in a bottle, I've still got it in the box um, but I've had it for a while now um, and it comes in a pump bottle like this you can see how much I've used um, and I, I'm not one to spend ridiculous amounts of money um, on products actually it takes a lot for me to actually really splash out on a product so I really surprised myself when I bought this because I went to a skincare event at the Shuimura counter in Glasgow with Gemma in May, I think it was. Yeah, it would be the middle of May and um, I did a blog post about that actually, so I'll link my blog down below and you can go and have a look at that. But um, this cleanser costs a whopping £28 and as I said, I just, I never just randomly buy something for £28, but um, at that event, um, they did a sort of skin consultation with you and they used a couple of products on you and they used, the girl um, at the counter used this cleanser on me and honestly I just absolutely loved it, it felt so so lovely and gentle and just amazing on my skin, it smells lovely, um, really 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 natural, it doesn't have a very strong scent at all um, and it just, it, it really it sort of caught my eye and I thought I really want to give this a go um, so that was the middle of May. Um, this is now July, so you can see that I haven't used all that much. Um, I haven't been using this every day. It's one of these things where because I've paid £28 for it, um, I sort of limit the number of times that I use it in a week. I'm like, you know, just use a little bit because, um, yeah, it costs quite a lot. But um, I absolutely love this cleanser. Essentially, the way that you'll use this is um, you pump um, one pump of the liquid um, onto your hands rub it between your palms and then just massage it all over your face completely all over the top of your makeup and it just completely melts all of your makeup away it feels so so lovely and calming and soothing on your skin it's just absolutely beautiful um, it removes all traces of makeup I never find that I have any sort of hints of mascara or anything left over um, after I've used it it just takes everything away and it just feels lovely the one thing that I will say that I find with this cleanser and I don't know if this is something that happens with other sort of oil-based cleansers. I haven't used very many. Um, but I find that just after I've used it, I always use this at night and never use it in the morning before I'm going out anywhere because um, it makes my eyes a, just a little bit bleary. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but after I've kind of like rubbed it over my eyelashes, <coughs> excuse me, um, to melt away all the mascara and the eyeliner or whatever, I tend to wear quite a lot of liquid eyeliner. Um, and... I feel like it sort of, it doesn't nip, it doesn't sting, it doesn't feel unpleasant, it doesn't feel like you're getting it all in your eyes, but they feel just a tiny bit kind of, um, not greasy, but that's the only complaint that I would have about it, um, and it's really not a very big deal because, as I say, I use that to remove my makeup last thing at night um, before I go to bed, so that's really quite a small complaint, I think. Um, Otherwise, it's absolutely lovely. Um, I just massage it, as I say, massage it all over the face, um, melt away all of the makeup that you have on, and then splash your face with some water to kind of turn it from an oil into more of a sort of really runny liquid. And then I actually use um, just a little muslin cloth, um, which I'll get to in a minute, um, to just kind of like remove any of the, the oil that's left on my face and they moisturise and my skin always just feels really lovely and clean and sort of plumped and it's just, I really really like this cleanser. Um, the price tag, as I say, I never usually spend that amount of money 
um, of one product. This is 150 mils, I think. Um, yeah, 150 mils for £20. So um, whether or not I'll repurchase it, I haven't decided yet. But um, at the moment, I absolutely love it. And it's definitely my go-to cleanser um, for now. Speaking of the muslin cloth, um, the muslin cloth that I do actually just tend to use with this um, is the cloth that I got with my Liz Ale. Liz Arrow Cleanse and Polish, which as everyone on the YouTube blogging beauty communities will know, is one of these holy grail products that so many people just absolutely love and just cannot live without. And I put off and put off and put off and put off buying Cleanse and Polish because I don't know if it just was because of the hype. I'm bad for that. I put off and put off watching Lost for a very long time because of the hype. I was like, oh, I can't live up to the hype. Um, and then, of course, it went a bit weird and people went off it, at which point I decided, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to start watching my brother's box sets and just, I'm a lost addict. Um, but with Cleanse and Polish, I was exactly the same. I put off buying it for ages and then my mum and I were in John Lewis one day and we are at the Lizzie counter and my mum had said, she was like, oh, I might like to try that and I felt like I wanted to try it. And so we thought, well, we'll get like a bottle and we'll both try it and see what we think. And the girl in the counter had said, um, when you use it to begin with, don't be alarmed if your face maybe um, breaks out a tiny little bit within the first week. Um, it's just your skin adjusting. And so, and I'd read that online and sort of seen people say that anyway, so I wasn't particularly worried about that. Um, and my skin's not all that sensitive, so I hadn't really thought that there would be much of a problem. Um, but the first night when my mum used it, I don't know if maybe my mum's just slightly allergic to it or what happened, but my mum's skin went very, very red and uncomfortable and she just thought, no, I don't want to use that again. Um, and that was her kind of done with it. Um, I persevered with it. My skin didn't take the same reaction that hers did. It didn't go particularly red. It actually felt lovely. My skin felt beautiful the first night that I'd used it. Um, but I found that my skin did break out a bit within the first week and it really didn't get any better. It didn't. I expected within a week or so for it to have died down, but I just kept getting new kind of little spots and blemishes here and there, especially even on areas of like my cheeks and places that I never really got any spots before. So um, I have it here <laughs> and I really, really was so sad that this was um, not a great product for me because I was so looking forward to trying it and so many people just swear by it. But um, unfortunately, the Liz Ariel Hot cloth cleanser, um, cleansing polish just wasn't for me. Um, it retails, I can't actually remember exactly how much it costs. I'll pop that somewhere up about here. I think it's around about the 15 or 16 pound mark, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and obviously this being 28 pounds is a little bit more pricey. Um, but in terms of the way that my skin felt, the way that my skin reacted to it, and the way that it just kind of made my skin look, I would definitely stick to the Shuri Mura in future. Um, if I can kind of um, bear to part with the £28. Um, also, I've been using one of the Shuri Amura um, moisturisers. I got a little sample pot to try and I'm really, really loving it. It feels beautiful. Um, so I might do a bit of a review on that um, in the next few weeks. Um, again, I'm not using that every day. I'm using it sort of intermittently with another moisturiser to see how my skin's kind of feeling differently um, towards them. So um, I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, let me know what your favourite cleanser is and what um, sort of different um, skincare products you've been loving at the moment. Just pop that in the comments down below. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're all well and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.